My name is Parrish Graham. I reside in the city of Atlanta, Georgia. I've been with DMG for about, what's this about, this about the early uh, 2011, February, February 2011, maybe March. And uh, I've been working with an individual by the name of Charles Mitchell. Charles Mitchell has a vast amount of experience. Charles has worked in Virginia. He's worked in Miami, Florida. He's worked in New York. And now he currently works here in Atlanta at WALR 104.1. He's the night DJ from 7 to midnight on Slow Jams. Charles comes with over 20 years of experience. And I'm excited and uh, almost blown away knowing that he is my mentor. And one of my, my, my doubts or uh, my hesitation with, with coming on with BMG because it wasn't an easy choice. I first learned about BMG, I'll say, about uh, back in 2005, 2006, somewhere along that line, and it was a whole the whole trust issue, uh, knowing that uh, BMG and Michael are way on the West Coast and I'm over here on the East Coast, you know, and he said he's going to do this and that and the other thing, and there's no guarantee. So I, you know, if I pay this guy, will he take my money? If I pay this guy, will he be able to, to produce or uh, do the thing that he say he's going to do? Well, I'll say this. He's done that, and he's done more. And I got a call from him one way tonight, and I know it was once because I was uh, in church and I saw the phone ring. So immediately after, immediately after church, I called him back to see what was going on because I'm thinking something must be amiss. He's called me this late. And he presented to me an opportunity, an opportunity to interview and be on a show. And uh, he asked me, did I know anything about sports? I know a little bit about sports. I know about basketball, and uh, I can read. And I told my mentor that uh, I got a call from Michael about an opportunity to be a sports guy on a radio show. And I told him, you know, my my reluctancy or my hesitancy was about uh, I know sports, but am I a sports guy? Because I joined BMG to be a radio personality, and uh, not 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 so much a sports personality. Long story short. My, my mentor told me, well, you can read, and, you know, not everyone who is in sports knows about sports, but you can do research, you can read, and, and, and bone up on sports. I go in for an interview. I take, an, uh, take a, uh, a demo tape along with me, simulating what I think the show, what I would sound like on the show. And I, I go, I'll go over the sports. I throw in humor. I throw in little antidotes, you know, numbers or whatever, and try to make it uh, – uh, real appealing, I put some background music under it. What, what the heck with my mentor? And uh, and these people are blown away. I get the job, and I've been doing it ever since, once a week for about uh, six months now. And what's really, really crazy about it or wild about it is that I get to meet, talk to numerous, countless people from different backgrounds all across the USA. I, I, my first interview on the show was with uh, Tyrone Brooks, who is the uh, the deputy of operations for the Pittsburgh Pirates, which I thought was exciting. And uh, since since then, I produced a show. My my show that I produced was with uh, Dwight Howard's dad, Dwight Senior, and I, I was real proud of that. Recently, I came in contact with Angel McCarthy, and uh, she's the second leading uh, scorer in the NBA, WNBA. And I've secured her for secured her for an interview, so it's really exciting. I mean, uh, those are just a few of the names of the folks that I've met. Um, for those of you who know sports, Cecil Fielder's ex-wife, Prince Fielder's mom, she's come through the show. Um, who else has I have an interview? I, I, I've uh, had the opportunity to just shake hands and meet numerous people. And not to mention that even uh, one of the uh, the host, the guest, the main, the main host on the show is married to a former NFL player, uh, Mike Pitts, who was uh, drafted by the uh, New England Patriots, played with the Philadelphia Eagles and the Atlanta Falcons. So it's been an immense amount of fun. So far, what I've learned and what I've grasped, the best one, the best parts about being mentored one-on-one, I work downtown, coincidentally, the radio station that I go to every day to meet with, or go to to meet with my mentor is uh, downtown. We meet during my lunch break. We meet in the evening. We've met in the evening. We've met on the weekend. It's pretty much according to his schedule and my schedule uh, when we meet, which is great. Some 
sometimes yeah, the meetings are one hour. Sometimes they you know they go two hours. Whatever whatever I, whatever I, I schedule can accommodate. And we're working on equipment that he's working on. So we're going to the studio. We're not working on something that's dated or comes from you know that, that may be uh, uh, obsolete. Now we're working on uh, with software that's current that that he's using. We're working on equipment that he's using. So it, it's been um, everything that it said it would be, and more. If I had to do it all over again, um, the only thing I would change, I would have done it sooner. 